Hey Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you visit that website. Make sure you share it with your friends and family. Yankees fans, let's talk about the Red Sox of 2018. The Red Sox who have a payroll of over $230 million. If I am correct, they are ranked number two behind the Los Angeles Dodgers for the highest payroll ever on record. I know for a fact that the Dodgers are number one with like $270 million. And now the Red Sox have behind the Dodgers because the Dodgers have had a higher payroll of $230 million. I know for a fact that the Red Sox have the second highest payroll when it comes to a team not being the Dodgers. So the Red Sox of 2018 essentially have the AL East bought. So this is what you have to understand, Yankees fans, that the Red Sox have bought the L East. And when Brian Cashman came out and said that the Yankees are the underdogs, he was correct. So Yankees fans, we have to go about things in a realistic way. The Red Sox have a payroll of over $230 million. It's probably going to go up too if they trade a Bradley or whatever, because they do have trade bait. Sure, their farm system is depleted, but a lot of teams like Bradley. So we have to go about things in a way that we view the Yankees as the underdogs because that's what they are. They are the underdogs. The difference between payroll is about what? Uh, 50 million, something like that, 60, something like that. So the Red Sox being in first place, they have, they're have they expected to be in first place. People have to understand that. Stop having such high expectations for the New York Yankees. Like I said, in my opinion, if the Yankees win the AL East, or they obviously they are going to be in competition for that spot, they have to be neck and neck with the Boston Red Sox all season long. Folks, there's such little room for error. It's going to come to bite the Yankees in the, you know what, come September when they are in that race for the AL East. I don't think the Red Sox are going to bury the Yankees and the Yankees are not going, going to bury the Red Sox. It's going to be neck and neck because, like I said, come trade deadline, the Yankees have so many players to trade. If they don't upgrade their team in a way where they're literally ride-ins for the World Series, then I don't know what's happening. Okay, so the Yankees, we know the Yankees are going to be contenders. So as the Yankees, as they go into Boston, look at the Yankees as being the underdogs. This is why the Red Sox have gotten to the start that they gotten off to, because people were sleeping on them. People were saying, oh my God, the Red Sox are going to be horrible. You even had David Ortiz come out and say, hey, the Yankees are going to just destroy everybody from out the gate. If you ask me, that was a tactic from the enemy, because the Red Sox are the enemy, to downplay the Red Sox. But no, Yankees fans, you guys know, if you follow my channel, I have told you, do not sleep on the Red Sox. Even Brian Cashman came out and told Yankees fans, the Yankees are the underdogs, and they still are. So with that said, Yankees fans, like I said, if the Yankees have a bad series, I think they are because their team chemistry is not in zinc yet. And I think they will come together once they hit Detroit. I think they'll just sweep the Tigers. But don't expect the Yankees to have a great series up there in Boston. Like I said, they have a rookie manager. And sometimes it takes a while for a team to mesh. And I know what some people are going to say, oh, the Red Sox have a rookie manager as well. But guess what? That rookie manager has gotten his team off to a 8-1 and one start. And again, to mention the fact that the Red Sox have a payroll of 230 something million dollars that helps as well. So yeah, when we come to the realization, as of now, the Yankees, they are going to be competing with the Red Sox all season long. I don't know where this came from, that the Red Sox were suddenly trash. We saw it said all off season long. People slept on the Red Sox. 
Me, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to be an alarmist or be a Debbie Downer, as they say. I'm just being realistic. So, Yankees fans, get ready. It's going to be a tough series up there in Boston. Like I said, don't take it to heart. In my opinion, the Yankees lose two out of three or maybe get swept. I know it's harsh to say, but watching this team as of now, their chemistry is not meshing together. But I can not tell you that they will go to Detroit and sweep the Tigers. So after the Tiger series, you will see this team come together and mesh together well. Aaron Boone's job is going to become much more easier. We all know it's early in the season. People keep saying it's early in the season. No, it becomes early in the season at some point. And I'm telling you, after this this series in Boston, that's when that, oh, it's still early in the season talk ends. We have to move past that. These games are going to come, like I said, to bite the Yankees in the rear end come September when they need those wins, when they are head-to-head with, again, the Red Sox. I hate saying the Red Sox name, but this is the team that the Yankees are going to have to beat first before they compete with other teams come playoff time. So, Yankees fans, I'm going to take a little vacation to the Dominican Republic. I'm going to update this channel with videos of me, maybe uh, drunk or whatever, maybe a uh, poolside, but I'll be away for like nine days. So if I don't update this channel, nothing happened to me. I'm just um, busy. So Yankees fans, like always, share, like, and subscribe. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. I will check you all next time.